today is March 27th, 2008, so because this year was a leap year, um, it's exactly 30 days from the day that we started our experiment. Uh, I think it's an hour ahead, but really not a huge deal. We did plan on videotaping every five days, um, but then we realized that that really wasn't necessary because the results would speak for themselves. Hence, we have 30-day-old rice um, that says thank you on it. Perfectly white. It's not even yellow, I don't think. What do you think? It's white. Looks good. And then we have the Yucky You Fool Rotted Jar that makes me want to vomit looking at it. It's like stuck in there. Look at that. Oh, I'm so not so clean that. Okay, that's disgusting. And these were done on the same exact day. And we just spoke to them at least once a day. And these are the results of the words that we spoke to them. Thank you and you fool. And really it's amazing and it's been a great experience doing this because um, anybody who's come into our home has wanted to know what this is and why it's doing this. And we've been able to explain. Um, nice floor shot there. Masar I can't say his name, I'm sorry. Masaru Emoto's experiment and uh, have become really interested and other people are um, doing this experiment and I hope that um, our efforts with this rice experiment has brought more knowledge and more people will be willing to try it and think about the words that they use in daily life as simple as thank you and you fool which nobody can really say thank you enough so um, we're considering possibly trying this again with other words just to see the difference and um, it's really disgusting so thank you, <laughs> Mr.